Thousands of people in the Northwest are ripped off every year in investment scams. So tonight, we're kicking off a new series called Fighting Fraud. Each week, we'll show you a different kind of scam and how to protect yourself. Tonight, we're looking at gold scams. More and more investors are turning to gold for a safe investment in these tough times. But con artists are using the new gold rush to swindle unsuspecting victims. Producer Dan Dumas has the story. Gold, gold, gold. Bright and yellow, hard and cold. With financial markets down close to 50% since the end of 2008, gold prices are near record highs. Gold bullion and gold collector coins are becoming increasingly popular for investors as a way to hedge against the inflation of the dollar. It's a way of stabilizing your, your money with the U.S. funds going up and down. It's really not gold going up and down, it's U.S. money going down or up. Steve Campau, owner of the Renton Coin Shop, has noticed an ever-increasing demand for gold coinage. A lot of people are concerned that the U.S. government's printing too much money, and so their way of protecting themselves is to put some of their extra money in gold so they're not losing as much money. But as with any investment, there are potential scams to look out for. It sometimes starts with a phone call. Home. It's Nicole from Colonial. How are you? Well, I'm pretty good. In this audio, courtesy of AARP, a scammer tries gold coin fraud. It was the $3 gold princess. It coincided. It was the last piece. Um, the price on it was $3,100. We did get it very much way below value. I just wanted to know what card did you want to put this on? I, I don't recall placing this order. When, when did I place this order? Right from the beginning, it seems like an odd way to buy such a valuable investment. Now, how much is this coin worth right now? The coin is worth $4,640. That's what it's worth, and that's why I even sent you out the free book, because I wanted to show you that. Michael Connor, owner of the Rare Coin Galleries in Issaquah, has experience with scam situations and says to look out for the inflated pricing of gold coins. And a lot of these guys just cold call, and people who are retired or at home for some reason, uh, they're very good at uh, striking up a conversation, convincing the listener that this is something they should consider. They'll follow up with other calls later on. Uh, they do a lot of hand-holding to make sure they get the sale. Quite often they'll, they'll sell them something like uh, a small group of certified $10 or $20 gold pieces, which is all well and good if you buy them at the right price level. Uh, this coin locally here right now is selling for, let's say, $800. These guys are usually going to quote $1,000 or more for the exact same coins. If they sell them 20 of them, they've just built in a pretty fat profit, you know, 10% uh, or more. They tend to prey on people who are not knowledgeable and sometimes don't want to take the time to necessarily pursue it. And you say the value of that coin is is over $4,000? Yes, for it is. And that, that is in black and white right in that book. And that's why I sent you out the book along with the coin. It's an honor to own a piece like that. Back at the Renton Coin Shop, Steve Campo says there's a better way to invest in gold. Well, I would recommend meeting your dealer, at least having a good relationship with them or buying some small quantity of something from them first, then, then maybe calling them back and going over it with them and making sure that you both have the same strategy. Michael Connor stresses, if investors want to make gold a part of their portfolio, do the research. I always tell people there are dozens of numismatic books out. Buy the book and get a little background information, five or ten or fifteen dollar book before you spend fifteen thousand on something you're not sure of. Do the research, there's plenty of online information, there are plenty of written uh, you know, books to refer to. Most good coin shops will have reference material available. Still, in the midst of this economic crisis, an old adage rings true. If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Now, for more information about gold scams, just go to our website, kcts9.org slash connects. That's all for this edition of KCTS 9 Connects. I'm Enrique Cerna. We'll see you next time. Local production and broadcast of KCTS 9 Connects with Enrique Cerna is made possible in part by a major grant from the Floyd and Dolores Jones Foundation. 
and by KCTS9 members. Become a member today by going to kcts9.org. Thank you.